I can't believe I got three ads in a row. So uh, let's let's talk about ads. Let's talk about ads for a second, y'all. So the most important thing for y'all to understand, because most of y'all are viewers on Twitch and you, you, you might be asking like, okay, but like, why is this important to me? And the reason that it's important to you is because when you watch content creators on YouTube, there's nothing that you have to do in order to monetarily support them in order for them to make a living. All that you have to do is enjoy their content. You can go on YouTube and you can you can watch uh, you know you can watch your favorite YouTuber and just by watching their videos they can make a full time a full time living off of you know people watching their videos. That's not true on Twitch right now. On Twitch you have to monetize through things like subs through things like uh, bits, through things like Patreon, things like that, which places the burden of support on y'all. Like, like y'all have to like empty your wallets in order to support your favorite content creators. And the and imagine what a sort of like mm, better system it is, where if you could just watch Twitch. If you could just watch your favorite Twitch streamer and never have to contribute any kind of money and the Twitch streamer could make a full-time living and you could keep all of your money. Like, it is so much better for everyone involved in that system. And then let's say that, you know, you don't like watching ads. You really, you really, really hate ads. You can pay like $9 a month to get rid of ads on all channels completely by getting Twitch Turbo. And so this is something that like you hear you hear a lot of people on Twitter complaining about this being like, oh, like I have to play more ads. It's just a cash grab. Like I, I don't I don't want to I don't want to hit my viewers with more ads. So I put out this tweet yesterday that says people who say I want my viewers to sit through the least amount of ads possible are also saying I want my viewers to have to be responsible for my income instead of them just being able to watch and not have to give me their money. So like if you are just a if 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 you are just a um like a hobbyist of a streamer then it sort of makes sense like you don't need to play ads on your channel uh and you know you can continue to do what you're doing and 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 not play ads. But if you are at all serious about streaming and like want to uh sort of in in my opinion like do what is best for the viewer so that like they can keep their money and you can make money Turning on ads is huge. So actually one of the major arguments I hear people make when moving from Twitch to YouTube streaming that they don't have to beg for funding from their communities. Absolutely. 100%. It is so much easier to make full-time uh, revenue off of YouTube because you can post a video. So there, there's a bunch of reasons why. But a couple, to, to talk about a couple, you can post a YouTube video. I need music. It's too quiet. You can post a YouTube video and that YouTube video is now up forever. Whereas with streaming, you only are you are only are making money when you're live, presumably. Um, and so for, for for the most part. And so when you post a YouTube video, it's out there forever, and anyone can watch it at any time. And at any time that they watch it, they'll get hit with like an ad or two or whatever, and you and you get income from that. And so like by people just watching your videos you're able to make a full-time living and you don't have to monetize your audience you don't have to be out here like hey like please and like that's the thing is that like you know i know i know that the the people in my chat for the most part are not like you know crazy rich people they're not crazy successful people um that just have like lots and lots of money to spare and so the more that i can like shift the burden away from y'all on to you know like major companies that are that are uh you know paying to advertise and i'm getting a cut of that money like why would i not take the money from the big corporations and instead take it from you it just doesn't make any sense it 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 is it is so much more humane and uh and i don't know like just like morally right to not to not monetize your audience if you have another option but like i don't feel like anyone else I feel like so few other people on like if if you like here let me let me show you an example. If I go on Twitter right now and I search uh, I search Twitch ads, watch what comes up. Uh, let me see, 
streamers hey twitch can we have a better payout split we've been asking for a long time twitch i think you said we want more ad incentives did i get that right so like completely missing the point 100 like they are they are going from offering you a flat cut which was like i don't know I, I don't I don't know their actual CPM, so I can't tell you what percentage it was, but it was an extremely small percentage. Like they are they are at least doubling they are at least doubling streamers' revenue overnight. And maybe, like, if they're being honest, they may be like five to ten Xing it, especially for like successful content creators. Um I think you misunderstand Twitch. We want less ads, better discoverability, and better revenue split. This is, again, completely missing the point. Like, they may be able to give us a better revenue split if we play more ads on our channel. Because the problem is, is that right now, Twitch can't get content creators to play ads. And ads is where they actually get their money. The truth is, they don't actually care about subs and bits. Subs and bits are not their profitability model. Like, it does not, it does not pay for Twitch. It does not keep the lights on Twitch. What keeps the lights on is ads. So if more people play ads regularly on their channel, then they may be able to adjust that revenue split. But the problem is everyone is misinformed and like just won't play ads. And so they have to keep these like predatory revenue splits in order to keep their platform alive. And it's not working, by the way. Like they're failing. Twitch is failing. Um, let's see, what else? As a woman, I'm used to being underpaid for my labor. That's why this month I'm partnering with Twitch Ads Incentive Program. Again, completely wrong. This is completely wrong. Like, yes, you were being you were being underpaid. Twitch was paying you like criminal criminal amounts for your for for playing ads on your channel. But now if you do it, they they are saying, and I don't know, I don't know how true this is cuz it's crazy. Like if they are actually doing this, it, I, I just, I can't understand how they are doing this, but they are actually giving you more of the ad split than they are giving themselves. The Twitch ads incentive program is absolutely laughable. You're telling me you already take 50% of subs and now you're offering $21 for 84 minutes of ads. This doesn't make any sense. I don't think that this person understands scalability at all. You cannot say how, how, how much money you're going to be getting from the number of ads that you're playing because depending on how many viewers you have in chat, it is going to change this amount. So if you have, if you have 1000 people in your channel and you play one ad and the CPM for that ad for Twitch is $15, you're going to get $7 and 50 cents for playing that ad. And if you have 2000 people, you're going to get $15. And if you have 3000 people, it's going to continue to double. So it, 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 this tweet doesn't make any sense. I've been thinking of getting that Twitch turbo for 999. Yeah. 100% worth it. Like if you don't like watching ads, I totally get it. I don't like watching ads either. So just pay like 10 bucks for Twitch turbo. And then like you are supporting, you're still supporting content creators because if you're in chat and they play an ad, you, they still get the revenue for the ad that was played, like for you being there for the ad that was played, even though you didn't see the ad. So like it's 100% worth it instead of subbing to like, you know, all the streamers that you watch. If you watch a bunch of streamers, just do just do Twitch Turbo and then you'll never see another ad on Twitch.